Night Shyamalan is back with a brand new movie and some people love his films, some people hate his movies. I'm in the camp where most of the time I'm sitting there, I'm like, I love his creative vision. So Old had to be one of my most anticipated films of the year and I'm here to tell you why this film will be very misunderstood by so many people. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Old, a new psychological thriller about a family on a tropical holiday who discovers that the secluded beach where they are relaxing for a few hours is somehow causing them to age rapidly, reducing their entire lives into a single day. Once again, this is written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, who very much is... He has a wide filmography. Some great films, some not so great movies, and people really much are on the spear. Some people love his films, some people don't. Again, I'm in that category where I really love his visions and his creativeness. And, you know, not all of his films work for me, but anytime he has a movie coming on, I have to be there first day. And Old was one of my most anticipated films for 2021 for all those reasons. The concept and Night Shyamalan alone. And just in general, to see how this film was going to turn out, because lately he's had some good hits. I know Glass was a little bit split for everyone, but I enjoyed Glass, and I think this film will overall be pretty misunderstood. It's not a perfect movie by any means, but I weirdly loved my experience with Old, even though I don't think it is a perfect film. And if you came to me and you're like, Zach, I hated that film, I would tell you, well, I understand 100% why you hated the movie. But for me, you got to understand why I think this film is misunderstood, and I'm ready to tell you why. But of course, if you guys are new here, though, and you guys just love talking movies, make sure, please, to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on content like this over here on a daily basis. I love talking movies, and if you're here, you probably love doing the same thing. So let's just keep having a great conversation down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on M. Night Shyamalan's new film, Old, and in general, what is your favorite M. Night Shyamalan film so far? Of course, with every review, let's start with the good, and one of the big things that I really dug in here is some of the performances. Vicky Creeps absolutely kills it. Just seeing the realization of how some of her kids growing up in here was baffling to her, as well as going over to Thomas and Mackenzie, who has absolutely stole the entire film and really much a very secluded but subtle performance. And in general, I think everyone does a decent job in here, building off of what is going on here. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about the performances in a second, but one of the things I do want to mention is the creative vision that M. Night Shyamalan very much put forward into this movie because his directing in here is not the strongest, I would say, but it's the most passionate that you can very much feel. You always feel a passion coming from each and every one of M. Night Shyamalan's films. His style is very much prevalent and probably some of the strongest that we've felt in quite a while from some of his later films that he's made recently. And I think for old, you really much feel this within the themes and the message and this is where I feel like this film is going to be very misunderstood. People are going to laugh, people are going to make fun of it for certain moments in here that I will talk about, no spoilers of course, but just certain small things. But for me, the thing that I really feel is misunderstood is the theme and the messaging in here. And I feel like this is the strongest aspect of the entire film. It comes off very strong, but not bonking you over the head. By the time I had ended the film, I was kind of in love with the entire concept of it all because I looked around my room I thought about my friends, my family, and everyone that really much is a loved one around me, and I just wanted to hug them. I wanted to tell them how much they mean to me, and even people who I haven't talked to in a while, reach out to them and let them know, hey, like, you're a close friend of mine, I love you as well, and I hope you know that. Because time is of the essence. Time is a gift, and it is a precious gift that once you lose, that is it. You can never get it back, and I feel like Old really much shows that in such an elegant and unique way, while at the same time showing the horrors on losing time and losing years to certain things, and I feel like, again, it's going to be misunderstood in that representation, and not in the way that the film is made, but just by the way that certain people are going to take the movie. And really much what M. Night Shyamalan teaches us here is to really much just appreciate the little things in life. Adding into the there, there are a lot of strange and weird, intense moments that even happen in here that really much I look at this and I'm like, there's not a single other director that would have made this movie and only M. Night Shyamalan would have made this film. And for the 
reason said, I think he's the reason that overall this movie works. Then going off of that, one of the things I really did mention was how audiences and how certain people will take this film. There are certain things that come off here in a laughable way, and, that, and that's just the truth. There's some line delivery in here that's honestly quite terrible, and I kind of sat there waiting to see how the film would pay off by the end. Maybe it all makes sense, maybe it doesn't. No, it, it's just flat out terrible. Some of the line delivery doesn't work. Some of the performances from people honestly are not great at all and really much come off very cheesy and cliche. And even adding from there, there are some really weird cinematography and editing shots in here that just kind of baffled me at certain moments that I'm like, they why did they choose that? Why did they make that decision? And it never made sense to me on why certain choices were made and maybe on rewatches i'll find more to develop on I always felt a little bit off in those senses again i actually think the ending very much works in a certain way i think it drags out just a teeny bit too much like it ends at a certain point then it keeps going and i'm like you could have ended it right there but i do think the ending is strong and it does make for a horrific thought because again this whole entire concept while it is sci-fi ish you look at it and you're like well, all this explanation, you could see this weirdly happening. And even adding in there a little bit more, there is one horrific moment in here that you are either going to laugh your ass off or you're going to think is some of the most horrific things that M. Night Shyamalan has done in a film yet. Because it is this body horror image thing and the way that it was going about, I sat there, I'm like, how did this not get an R rating? That, that's actually quite shocking. Psychological and horror events that happen in here really much add to the tension, the themes, and the messaging of growing old. And that is probably the most passionate thing that I can really much put into here because that is what M. Night Shyamalan really much put prevalently all with inside his latest film. Now again, some of the dialogue is very much off. It never makes sense. Some of it's cliche, cheesy, and even some of the line delivery is not good. But what I will say is the performances that do work are all the main leads in here and thankfully they do. And that's one of the biggest things and one of the biggest strengths. No one else would have directed this movie, but M. Night Shyamalan makes it work in a very strange and weird way that only M. Night knows. If you're an M. Night Shyamalan fan, you're absolutely going to dig the hell out of this. If you're not and you're not won over by him, this is not going to be your cup of tea. Here's my thing though with this. Go in with an open mind and understand that this is not your typical psychological film. It is one that more, as everything kind of happens, you're gonna think afterwards on some of the messages and themes within inside of here. And that's one of the biggest takeaways that I really took from this movie. I expect for this movie to strike that chord with me. I expected it to haunt me in a horrific way, but in a way it actually haunted me with something that's actually going on in a lot of our different lives. And I found that to be the strongest element of the entire film. It will be a misunderstood film in my opinion. Too many people are going to give this film shit. I overall really enjoyed this one, and I think you guys should give it a shot if you are an M. Night Shyamalan fan, or you're just in general looking for something a little bit different. Again, not perfect, but very, very good in my opinion. So that said, I'm going to give it old a B. Thank you once again, guys, for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you so much again, and I'll make sure to head on over to Sam Sean Films on how to see films early. And, of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I would not be able to do this. So, of course, until next time, stay classy.